Today we're playing a fun game called Name Those Bits. Spiky Bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. All right, welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. Rob Bear here once again with a new segment on Spiky Bits. It's uh, kind of along with our retro flashback section. This is going to be called Name Those Bits. So I picked up uh, a bunch of stuff off a friend of mine, Ryan Foxworthy, and uh, it came with several sealed lunch bags full of bits. And I started just cursory looking at some of this stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, some of this stuff I literally haven't seen in 20 years. And I was like, man, this is so cool. It's like all the feels all at once. I was like, I wonder if, I wonder if anybody else would appreciate this. So I figured we would grab out, dump these out, and walk through them or at least a lot of them, one by one, the stuff that matters, because everybody knows that's a uh, Demon Prince uh, arm right there. Who cares, right? But it might be cool to like see some of the old stuff up close and personal and try to name them before I do. So I'm opening the bag here. I'm gonna do it off camera so you don't get get spoilers of all this stuff. I'm dumping it out, I literally, I mean, I kind of glance at what's in here, but I definitely haven't seen a lot of it for the most part, probably in a good amount of years. So I'm just gonna pick some stuff out of here that uh, that might be familiar to a lot of you. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Now that, now you get a freebie right there. That one's pretty easy. If you've uh, played Chaos at some point in your life, you'll, you'll know that this is the old metal Chaos Demon Prince arm. It could be the, I don't think it is, but there was a Nurgle version of it, but I don't think that's it. I think that is the regular one there. I'm literally not even looking, I'm just grabbing stuff. That is the old third edition Chaos Space Marine with a flamer. This was, uh, I like I liked the look of these. They, before you had multi-part plastics, you could buy these guys in two packs. And you would, this is what I played in third edition, these type of guys, nothing was separate. It was just all pewter, all basically cast from one piece. You know, they didn't have that multi-part uh, plastic technology that they do today. This little guy right here, Probably recognize this one too. This is pretty easy. This is the old Chaos Lord uh, backpack from, or Chaos Space Marine Lord from back in the day. It looks very similar to Karn the Betrayer uh, styling. I think the same guy sculpted it for sure. there. Um, let's see. Here's another Chaos uh, Chaos Demon Prince arm. This one looks to be the Nurgle one though. I don't remember it being that short. Could have been, but I don't remember. And what we got here? Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, it's a, it's a dwarf. We got a dwarf, or a Durden, or whatever you want to call it. He's just kind of standing there. I don't remember this guy. I never had him. I guess he's just a troll slayer. Oh, does he have an eye patch? No, he doesn't have an eye patch. I bet he was a champion of some sort. Just like, well, I could just see this dude just standing around, like bellowing out like some insults. This guy here, I think we've all seen him. He was some limited edition Space Marine. Uh, captain I want to say he was from one of the games days I believe they always do them like in these weird poses like holding up their arms or like pointing off into the distance or something crazy like this oh wow okay so this is this is the old Space Marine Captain backpack it was like the cape this was pretty cool uh, of course now they have the plastic ones and I think this was the one that came with that captain this was what that went on the back of that Captain Sentos that they've just recently redid as well so that's really cool to see that's definitely a good a good 20 years right there Ooh, this is a good one so this guy this was a limited edition space marine captain and he came with a storm bolter actually i think it was the stalker pattern uh the kind of the death watchy looking bolt gun that went right there now this guy normally you saw the one without uh without a helmet and he had a power sword this guy here is a special limited edition games day uh, miniature from the late 90s. I want to say Games Day 1999. Haven't seen this guy in years. Obviously, you know, he shares the same styling with that Space Marine Captain that had the Storm Bolter and the Lightning or the Power Weapon pointed up in the air there looking at that with no helmet. But this guy, um, I'm not sure if he's worth some money these days. You know, it's really hard to tell what's worth money if it's sealed, if it's not sealed. But oh, and here's his bolt gun right there. So that's kind of cool to see. 
So it looks like he's complete. Nifty. I gotta look that one up. Here's just some random plastic chaos bits, nothing new, possessed wings, terminator backpack, and a couple of the lightning claws from that kit. We've all seen that stuff, that's nothing new there. Uh, more recently, there's a <laughs> Contemptor Dreadnought multi-multi arm. I don't know I don't know why that's that one's in there. Oh, here's the rest of the Chaos Lord, boom, that that backpack goes on. That guy was pretty neat. He uh, generally holds up a, uh, oh my gosh, this is bananas. It's a rhino. Oh, it's a little Space Marine slash epic rhino from back in the day. This is from back in the day. This is from the 90s because the ones they put out in the 2000s with the Armageddon were actually plastic. This is really cool to see right here. Wow, it's so little. Look at it. Oh. But you know what's, what's really cool about this is this is what the current plastic Space Marine rhino was based off. It was this pewter one that they put out. Um, because they, the, also the Land Raider, the plastic Land Raider that eventually came out was based off of the Epic slash Space Marine, uh, game one as well. So that's really cool to see. It's a little bit of history right there in the making. Oh my gosh. Here's a, here's a Chaos Celebrity right here. I can't even, oh, well now I know. Okay. All right. This is all starting to make sense. This, you probably heard about this guy. This is a uh, Doom Rider. This is the Slaneshi, uh, kind of like, um. I guess he was supposed to be Ghost Rider, so to speak, but this is the Slaneshi Biker. He came with a couple special arms, too, uh, that would connect to the bike. Basically all sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Uh, and then he had a different front to the bike. Uh, let's see if it's in here. It's gotta be in here. It's gotta have this. Oh, uh, yep, here it is. So that was the front to the bike. The current plastic uh, Chaos bike it should still fit it, to be quite honest. Uh, that's really neat to see. I haven't seen that one in quite some time. Oh, there's a couple of them. Wow, look at that. You can have a whole squad of the uh, Doom Riders now. Nope. And, nope, that was... Yep, that looks to be about it. Huh. That's really cool to see. That's a little blast from the past right there. Then there's, um, there's some other parts here. This is, uh, the old Chaos Terminator... I want to say it was a Terminator Lord Plasma Cannon that you would put on a Chaos Terminator. It was a pewter one, it wasn't around for a while. I think they did some, um, they did some pewter possessed that weren't around for a while either before they switched right over, oh, to plastic. Now I know what this is. This, this is the Golden Demon head. That that dwarf I showed you, that was the, that was the Golden Demon dwarf, uh, limited edition games day guy that basically went on top of this head. Wow, that's really neat to see. I had never seen that open. That's so cool. Man, this is like all the feels here. This is a Bloodthirster torso for Chaos, and that's where the wings locked in right there. Not the best design, but for the 90s, it was all we had and we loved it. Oh, speaking of Metal Possessed, here is, I guess for its time, it was pretty cool, but uh, eh, we've seen better, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still pretty cool looking even these days here. I, I suppose you could use this as a uh, Gal Vorback or something like that. Now, there's two of these. This is interesting. Remember Inquisitor? This was the guy that looked actually like uh, Inquisitor Ein Einhorns. This was his staff that he would carry around. I think it was attached to his backpack. Uh, on the back of his backpack, this was the staff that he used. And there's two of those because people used to use this this bit right here as a word bears. I bet you, I bet you this is a lot of uh, a lot of swag from when they had the bits wagon and they would go around and you could get bits by the ounce or bits by the gram, I forget which what, what it was. Basically, you could score a ton of good deals. Here's an old Space Marine veteran sergeant with the power fist, another classic here. We may see a reprint of him in plastic or slash fine cast in the near future. Uh, this is just a normal Mark I veteran. I want to say it's just a Mark I. It's not the Stern Guard. I don't think it's the Stern Guard because he has a plasma pistol. But they had this Space Marine Veterans box set. And I think he was pointing. I want to say he was pointing. Let's see if there's a pointing arm in here. I don't see a pointing arm. Nope. I don't see one. But that's okay. I'm sure it's in here somewhere and I just can't see it. I kind of spread it everything out looking around at things. A couple of different rando bits. This is the... Terminator uh, or Tech Marine arm. Let's see if you can recognize that one. I'll lay him out here. You can get a head start on me. Oh, we already did him. Oh, there's a there's an oldie but a goodie. Another oldie. 
And I think that actually, that's a combo. We got, no, that's not a combo. Which one does that go to? Hmm. I think some of this stuff's a little mixed up. Oh, wow. That's a, that's an interesting one to talk about too. Gosh, so many good feelings. Oh, wow. That's, whew, that's a blast from the past right there. A few more in here, but I'm going to surprise you with those. So this right here, I think we already covered him. That was a special limited edition game state miniature, the Tech Marine. Bolter, and then this is what the old Space Orcs looked like back in the 80s. And this was probably a freebooter, I want to say. Um, they had different arms that you could put on them to make them different. That was that was basically how you customize stuff. You didn't have plastic bits. You had random uh, arms that you could buy and put on things, so to speak. This is a old Chaos Sorcerer backpack. Um, a lot of people use these as Thousand Suns. I think they also included them in the Thousand Suns kit there after a while. This was the old Scout Biker uh, accessory because they used the same bike, but they just put uh, this thing on the back, I think it was. And then this, oh man, I, I used to have this guy. This is an old Juggernaut of Corn, the rider for Chaos because the Juggernaut started out with 40k. And this was the rider's plasma pistol arm for, we're talking the 90s. This guy right here was one of the first Inquisitors believe it or not. This was a uh, late 80s Inquisitor with, I want to say this counted as Psychic Hood, but I'm actually not sure. I didn't play these guys. These were in the journal. Uh, they were special rules in the journal. So man, that's a, that's a super blast from the past right there. Now there's a couple other treats that I'm not, I'm not sure you're ready for, but I'm gonna lay them on you just the same. So here's a lightning claw from Captain Sicarius, or actually I think this might have been, this was either Captain Sicarius, which was this kind of Wolverine looking pose dude, that was uh, a special white dwarf limited edition. Uh, but not a lot of people got them. And then they put that same type of bit in with the, um, they put it in with the uh, veterans box. Here's just a Terminator Stormbolter arm uh, for a character. I think this might have been the captain. Looking by the posing, it was the captain in Terminator armor. And then this one here was one of the veterans with the drum fed bolter. I think this was the guy with the crest on his head and he was uh, had his foot up on something called Captain Morgan in it. Now we're going to get into, we're going into extra innings right here because these guys, I'm about to blow your mind with these guys right here. Where's the other one? All right. So first up, we got the old Gene Steeler hybrid. Look at that guy. Oh man. He's so small, but so well detailed. I mean, Gene Steelers were a thing back then. Gene Steeler Colts. So we got one of him, we got one of his buddies with an auto auto rifle, auto gun, auto pistol weapon as well, and the big daddy himself, the Magnus, to bring it all full circle right there. I think that is every, I think that is every available bit out of here that's worth, that isn't duplicated and actually worth talking about. Yep. Oh wait, no, there's more. This is a whole whole bits bag of oh this is alternate. This is this is a privateer press out of the new privateer starter. Those are pretty good value too for the price. Wait, there's more! There's more bits! We got more bits! We're going deep! Extra innings. Here we go. Dumping them out. Alright, so we got a couple more limited edition guys, if I recollect. These were oh, there's four of them. Well that's interesting. So I don't remember which one was which. Well, one of these was a limited edition Dark Angels Captain, and one was one that they actually put out that you could buy normally. I, like I said, I forget which one is which. Back in the day, they basically would sculpt similar bodies to save time, and then somehow they duplicated it, mostly Tom Cruise Witchcraft, I feel like. In, and then they just kind of did a different top head or different posing of the arms or different weapons. Um, maybe they sculpted two. I'm not exactly sure, but you, I mean, you can tell for not using, not doing shit on the computer, that is the same basic body. They just kind of switched the top out a little bit. You know what I mean? And they did that for a lot of different things. I mean, you can see it all throughout uh, all of the pewter miniatures they put out, you know, just so they can have a variety of, uh, of multiple uh, options available. What is this? Oh my, we got even more stuff here. I don't even know what these are. I have no idea what these are. These look like, hmm, some sort of custom bits. I'm not sure what these are. These might've been something he ordered. They look like they're cast in a different type of pewter, but they don't even look like Space Marine helmets. Some sort of Spartan helmets, maybe. Spartan upgrade bits from a third-party manufacturer. 
you, they definitely look like they would fit the current plastic space marines though those are pretty neat i might have to keep those <laughs> those are swell i'm liking them yeah there's like 10 of those in here huh that's pretty cool something you don't see every day as well wow so that is just one of several bags of these uh these things i have here uh so if you liked our little blast from the past name that bits episode drop it in the comments and we uh we can do at least four more of these and before i even have to go to my own personal bit stash deleted scenes bonus content all the interviews and post game wrap-up videos can be located in the hall of veterans on the longward.net visit the longward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached that's not all the longward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad free experience to all your favorite videos members of the hall of veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos